To convert a decimal into a different base, for example, base 5, we use a series of repeated multiplications. I'm going to start by writing this 0 and the dot, because that's the beginning of the answer in base 5. And then what we do is we take that 0 0.88 and we multiply it by whatever base we want to change it to. So times 5, and that is equal to 4.4. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at everything after the decimal and grab just that part and put the 0 0.4 down there. Everything after the decimal goes on the next line. Multiply that by 5 also, get 2.0. And now I look after the decimal, and I see that there's only a 0, so I stop right there. That's the end of the process. Now, the answer is at the, in the beginning, at the front of each decimal answer that I've done on each line. The 4 and the 2 are the answers right there. So the answer is 0 0.42. Now, if this procedure doesn't end with a zero eventually, we might have run into a repeating decimal. So this is an example uh, with a repeating decimal. So convert 0 0.7 into base 5. Again, I'm going to use repeated multiplication. Um, I'm going to start by writing the beginnings of the answer in base 5 with the zero and the point. And then I'm going to take the number I'm going to convert, 0 0.7, and multiply it by the base times 5. So 0.7 times 5 is 3.5. And again, I look to the right of the decimal point, and there's something there, so I repeat the process. Put just that part, 0 0.5 times 5 is equal to 2.5. And is there something to the right? Yes, there is. Take that piece, move it to the next line, 0 0.5 times 5. And you can see that I'm going to end up with the exact same line. So this is going to repeat forever, repeating um, over and over. And so... If I look at the answer now, the answer, the digits in base 5 are those three, those digits in front of the decimal point, the 3 and then the 2, and then if I kept going, I'd keep getting 2, so 3, 2, 2, 2, 2, and so on. That's the answer.